What's up you guys, Tutorials for Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how to upload images onto your Dreamweaver CS5 website. And it seems like it's going to be something hard, but trust me, it's not that hard. So, um, before I do anything, I just want to let you know that um, this video, this tutorial is brought up by a comment right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, well, some over here somewhere. Um, and he simply asked me, how do you allow other people to upload images onto your website? So, I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so first, before you do anything, you want to click on this link right here. I'm going to include it. I'm going to include the link in the description, or I'm just going to put a little side note or annotation right on the video. But yeah, just click this link right here. And once you get there, um, as you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that um, you see this HTML code. And basically, if you don't have this HTML code, none of this will work unless you type it in yourself. So what you want to do with the HTML code is right click and you want to press copy, or you can do Command C. So after you do that, you want to open Dreamweaver. This will work with iWeb too, so it doesn't have to be all fancy and stuff. <sighs> okay, so it's finished downloading. All right, it should be done. All right, so when you get into Dreamweaver, make um, oops. when you get into Dreamweaver, you wanna um, if you if you see um the screen all like this, you wanna go to the upper left hand corner and you wanna click split. And what split does is it shows the HTML along with the design of what your website will look like, or at least this part of the website. So after you copied the HTML from the website, you wanna do Command V to paste it, or you can just right click and do paste. And now that you do that, if you go to Live View, you can see that, oh, it says File Upload, and you could browse, and you could find all the pictures you want. And so now that you've done that, um, f obviously what we need to do is actually make sure that the pictures are uploaded to you. And before we do that, you can also change the name of, if you want it to say Upload, or whatever you want. But for this, um, we're just going to do Upload. Um, you, can always, you can always change the name of it. Okay, so now what you want to do is go to insert, and you want to make sure that in the drop down menu you click forms, and you want to click this form right here. And and, and as, while you're still in the insert um, column, you want to scroll down where you see button. Click on button and ID. We're gonna do submit. Um, just check check the, um the settings, see if you want to change anything. But after you do the ID, that's pretty much it. So after you do submit, um, we're gonna for action we're gonna do submit form. And so now you want to make sure you have the form clicked, not the button. Just make sure the form is clicked. Um, sorry. Okay, so after the form is clicked, you want to go down here to action, and you want to simply type in mail to colon um, uh, whatever email address. Tutorial for t tutorials for techies. At Yahoo, whatever email um you have, and method we're gonna do um get because you want to receive it. You don't want to post it out uh, out onto your website. And so after you do that, after, when you go to the live view, you should see the submit button up there. But um, whoops. Um, now you see that we have two buttons. You have an upload button and you have a submit button. So now let's just do um, one button. So you want to just delete the input values with upload and all that. And once you go to live, you now you see they have the submit button up there and you have the browse buttons on the bottom. And so, okay, so now if you want to change that, if you want to make the submit button below the, um, you want to make the submit button bef below the upload button and not, and um, the browse buttons. What you simply want to do is have the submit button selected and simply, whoops, 
drag it down there. So then when you go to live view, you see the submit button below it. So now, um, if you didn't catch what I just did there, the submit button, which is this right here, it was on column um, number, I mean row number 11. And so I dragged it down below the browse button so that it looks like the submit button is part of the browse buttons or the file up or the file upload piece, but it's actually not. It's a separate button, and you can you can do that because it's just one form, so it'll submit the whole form. It doesn't matter um, if it's connected or if it's not connected. It's still, it's still gonna send it. And so now um, you can see that oh I can browse and stuff and I can also submit and I did show um, how to create a submit button more if you want to see me more going depth with it um, you can click this video right here somewhere it was my last video so if you just go on my channel I'm pretty sure you'll see it um, but if you're watching this a couple months from now you're probably not gonna see it and um, <clears throat> so now if you go to this globe whoops whoa whoa what is that if you go to this globe right here you click preview in Safari or whatever you have um, save this. What should we save it, you guys? Um, picture upload. I don't know. Dreamweaver CS. Oh, CS5. Okay, so just save it to your documents, whatever. Save. So now you can, um, choose it in Safari. So now, whoops, let's not, let's not do that right now. So now, um, when, when you can see, you can preview it in Safari. So now we're going to do choose file and all that. And you see it says file upload. If you click choose file, it'll automatically open your computer. Um, if you're on PC or Mac, it doesn't matter. It automatically opens your settings. So if let's say I want to choose this file, then it, it, it even shows you what file you click just to make sure. And after you've chosen all your files, you just click submit. And obviously it's not going to do it because um, it's not a real address it's just a preview and let's say you don't want that many um um you don't want that many upload buttons or browse buttons sorry let's say you want less browse buttons you can see that we have like five browse buttons let's say you just want to keep it simple you just you just need one thing that you want so what you want to do is simply t um take the four of them the four um buttons in the split mode and you want to simply click delete or backspace if you're on a PC and now when you go to live view you just see how you see you have one browse button and one submit button but just for the for the sake of this um tutorial I'm just going to leave it at that much and now you can also see that there's a big space between the file upload and the first browse button we can also change that by highlighting number uh, row number 15 or whatever row it, whatever row your button is on highlight it drag it down one if you can whoops whoa whoa um yeah drag it down one why is this not work okay so once you have the file upload button selected with the text just drag it down one if you can grab it so now when you go to live view you should see that oh they're more together now so you don't have to worry about that okay so, and you can also change the text of file upload let's see uh, let's say um upload these files um send files to tft and tft is my channel so tell us for tech if you don't know send files to TFT. It's the same thing, so you just have to refresh it, and now it says send files to TFT. It's whatever you guys want. You can also change the, um, the browse if you wanted to say something else. And so now that you've done it in Dreamweaver, I'm going to show you how to do it in um, iWeb. And basically what iWeb is, is a Mac-based a Mac based application. So if you have um, PC, you can just like shut this video off right now. You don't really have to watch this part. But if you do want to watch it, it's not going to kill you. It's just, um, it'll just give you more, more knowledge, especially if you're looking for into buying a Mac. <clears throat> so after iWeb loads, um, you can see I have my I have my um website right here, and so now um you can see that I have all my pages here and whatnot. So let's say I want to put this upload button in um home. I don't know. So let's go to HTML. 
you in the widgets in widgets right here you want to click drag and drop the HTML simple as that and you want to command V paste um, whatever you whatever what the HTML was in the um and the the website that we first started out with and basically this all the things you can do with Dreamweaver you can do an iWeb um, you can't look at the code as you can in um, Dreamweaver but it's basically the same thing you can always change um, whatever it says and everything um, it's just more um, amateurish <laughs> um, is what I'm trying to get at so it's um, really iWeb is for like if you want to just put things together and not anything really it can be professional at times, but not anything too serious and that takes up a lot of space, um, memory, I'm thinking. And so after you, after you copy and paste the HTML, um, you can see that um, you have the file, file upload buttons in um, iWeb. So now um, people can choose that, and it's the same thing. You can always change the name and the HTML snippet if you just click on it. And you can also, um, which cool about what I like about iWeb and what I, what I don't like about Dreamweaver, is that with iWeb you can always change the colors and make it all, gla all glamorous and stuff like that. But then with Dreamweaver, if you want to buy Dreamweaver, you always have to buy another application with Adobe, like Photoshop or something like that, so that you can export the Photoshop into Dreamweaver, so that Dreamweaver Dreamweaver will have that. Um, uh, artistic look to it rather than just being black and white that you see in some websites which is really not um, inviting I would say and yeah so that's basically it it's just a simple um having uploading any file it can be pictures it can be whatever you want um, so yeah thanks for watching you guys make sure to comment rate and subscribe and um, as of yesterday I've been 11 months on this channel and um, yeah so I started this channel on July 4th of July and on um of last year and um, I started on 4th of July so I'd actually remember when the anniversary was uh, yeah so this upcoming month I'll be celebrating and stuff uh, yeah thanks for thanks for all your help I re I've really gotten farther than what I've expected and um, I've gotten 40 videos by now um so far and I'm, I'm expecting about 100 170 videos by next year next year's anniversary but yeah thanks for all the comments and all the subscribers it really helps guys and it it's really great it, it's something i really want to pursue when i get older all right thanks for watching peace oh i also did post another vlog up and it's right here and it's about um my mother's day um my present for my mom for mother's day and just click on this right here um, it's really funny, and it's shorter than the other vlog, but go click on the other vlog too as well. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.